Hi, this is Care Hart, and did anyone else know that a box came in this size for a large flat rate box? I mean, this thing is huge. It is a full, I want to say 24, no, it's 20, it says 23 and a half inches, but it might be 24 when it was laid flat. This thing is huge. Oh, here it is. Oh, it does. 23.6875 inches by 3.125 inches by 11.75 inches. That's crazy large. So, you're going to be joining me as I unpack this box from the fabulous Deborah Brigham. And if you guys could join me in saying thank you while I make a lot of noise here. You could join me in saying thank you to the sweet Debbie. Oh, oh, I can see she already has, oh, how cool. She already has aprons in here some fabric to work with and I'm so afraid of pulling things out. Are we ready? We're going to have fun. There we go. I'm always afraid of making a crazy mess. Because it's going to happen one day. You all know it, right? You all know that's what's going to happen. Oh, so cool. Okay, hold on. It's coming. I feel like I'm cheating. Get to see it all as it comes out. Look how much this holds. I bet you I'm not even all on the camera. Oh, you came off. There we go. All right, two more things. One, two. So first off, on the back side here, she actually has some very cool inspiration packages, which... Oh, that would be that would work really really cute for dangling for Christmas too. So for whatever hardest ends up getting this inspiration package, this is something that you could even consider using um, for decorating for Christmas. So instead of using the word, which I do happen to have these wood little letters that say love. Um, so if somebody does know someone who's going to do a wedding thing, then let me know that too. But that's really really cute. So this is great. And then this one, it's all mermaidy. So some paper. Oh, I like that too. That's cute. The different tickets for how you do it. Oh, that's really cute. I do like the mermaidy stuff. And some embellishment ideas. And so if you're a artist and I send you something like this and you find that, hey, I'd like to make this product. I don't have any problem with you saying to me, um, I'd really like some 12 by 12 sheets that are mermaid, or I'd really like some stickers that are mermaid. You'd be surprised at what I may or may not have available. So always make sure that when you receive stuff like this, even if you don't get all the supplies you need to make them, right at the, f oh, that's cute. That's really cute. That'd be easy to do too. Look at that. What an inspiration thing. Um... So if you're our artist and you see something that you'd really like to do or like to have the idea of, or even if you see it in a video, um, I don't I don't mind at all you updating your wish list to put specific things or generic things like saying paper flowers, you know, um, saying I love anything pink. That's cute too. Uh, I like old vehicles, stuff like that. And then you never have to remove it from your wish list until, okay, you're sick of me sending you things with old vehicles, that kind of stuff. Um, this tab punch right there, um, I'm not sure if that's how they did theirs, but that kind of thing, if you see a project like that, um, those are the other things that, th that you put on your wish list. So for those of you who are artists that are new, that's what I'm looking for is details and ideas like that. And it doesn't have to even be expensive. It can be, I'm looking for wool that is yellow, which is on my, on my list of things to find, um, stuff like that. Uh, these fabulous puzzle pieces um, I will separate and put into kits. Things like this, when they come in the mail, um, I will put them into kits because then you can use the puzzle pieces in your art. There was a beautiful piece of artwork that was not only done by a artist, but it was actually done by a artist and she submitted it into a gallery and she is now a juried artist that has been um, placed in an art gallery in New Jersey. How cool is that? And she doesn't even live in New Jersey. Yeah. That's awesome. So congratulations to you for having done that. That's just too cool. And 
there's these little S clips right here. Um, and Debbie asked me if I could use these and I said, oh, you know what? I actually could use these in um, the way that I store stuff when inventory comes in before the inventory goes back out to the hardests. Um, and so thank you for these S clips. And thank you for asking that too. Using plants for healing. You know, this is just something that one, the book itself I bet has fabulous, yep, it has fabulous images. And um, two, I personally also use plants for healing. And I make teas and tinctures and stuff like that. I'm a bit of a, I'm, I, I don't do marijuana, not that I judge anyone who does, because, you know, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But I do um, seem like every version of a hippie who would make their own medicines and tinctures and and um, all that stuff. I didn't get a lot of um, good feedback when I submitted one of my uh, healing recipes. So I decided not to keep putting those into the videos in case you saw that from way back in the day. But I was super excited when that recipe um, box, when I found it, because I had lost it for over a year. Um, but this book will be fabulous to either send as a whole or um, cut apart. Uh, either way, it's, it's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous book. Thank you. Love stuff like that. And then she has a stack of lovely, which of course she organized it way better than, than I had it come out. But look at this lovely stack of papers that she has in here. Planners gonna plan. I do have a few planners, which is cool. And so I will sort through and use, these are so cute. Use these papers either in kits or just randomly sent to the hardists. And for those of you who are not hardists, one of the, there are a couple of different reasons why I share on the videos um, the stuff that comes in as donations. Number one is it's my way of saying thank you to the donor. It's my way of letting them know as I go through it how much we really appreciate it and uh, how, how it will be used. I like to tell them how we're going to end up using things. Sometimes um, I change how we use stuff. So that happens. That's cute. Look at that. That's on my to-do list again. Um, oh, that's cute. It's like a little planner stuff. I know somebody's going to send me a wish list request for this one because that is just super cute with the little, um, the, the little planner. Oh, what do we call those? Post-it notes. Number two is the hardest CDs. And they update. Oh, that's cute. They update and modify their wish lists um, to include the things that actually come in, uh, which gives me a good place to sort things. So if they tell me within a couple of days of the video dropping, then instead of sorting it into the category I would normally sort it into, like this I might actually put into my little steampunk bin, um, instead of sorting it into a category like that for inventory purposes, um, so when I'm making kits, I can go grab things automatically for the kits. I'll put it into the basket, which looks like a Christmas basket, actually. Um, I'll put it into the basket of things to go out for wish lists. And so look at the font on those. Isn't that beautiful? And so, oh, that's cute, too. It's a mixture of... Um, a mayor or DC stuff and uh, Tim Holtzy style papers. And so if someone was to make a wish list, they could say the papers that came in Deborah Brigham's box uh, that are journaling cards, or they could say um, uh, if they said something specific like one single piece of paper, like in the last one of the boxes I opened recently, it said the steampunk 12 by 12 sheet of paper. If I'm quick enough in grabbing that, then yes, I'll go grab that and put it in the box. But if I accidentally already sent it to somebody else before I noticed that on the wish list, then um, I'll keep my eye out for the next one that comes along that's steampunky or just order something like that for them. So that's how that works. So 
you'll see that these videos also help the hardests um, decide what to add to their wish list that exists in the inventory. Um, and it's kind of fun. It's like them shopping the way that you guys do who are the angels attending the auctions. The hardests can do it. What if this is so cute? Let me see. I want to see what this says. Where's the end of it? Well, these wood things, um, instead of being a banner, these wood things could easily be modified to be little books. Do you see that? Um, but I might send all of them to one person um, to do as a banner. I have a couple of people who are visually challenged. And so to have good texture, yes, I'm sorry for all the noise. So to have good texture that you can hold on to and paint like this, you can hold it and you can see the size of it when you're painting. That's really cool. All right, here we go. Now I got it. So one, seven, zero. Now we know it says 2017. And then this has a little dot, and that says nine. Oh, nine dot oh. Oh, nine dot oh. Well, I don't know, but I'm assuming they're going to repaint them and decorate them like that. How cool is that? Okay, so I have two, four, six, eight, ten of these. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. Yep. And this will be one of two things. This will either be all of them to be created as um, a background for a piece of art, or I'll split it between the visually impaired folks, you know, half to one, half to the other, or I'll break them into little parties of two if I get multiple requests for them um, so they can turn them into books. And for the people who want them as parties of two into the books, they do look to be exactly the same size, so you could use them as a cover. Oh my goodness, now I have to edit that out of the video. Oh, you are so sweet. She says, hi, Carrie, I wanted to get these to you as soon as possible, Debbie. And check this out. Look at these. How sweet is she? I freaking love these. I use them all the time. I've never seen this one. It says be thankful. Um, and then this one says balance, inhale, exhale. Oh, that's cool. Beautiful, wonderful, inhale, exhale. That is just awesome. Well, I really like this. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love yoga. Um, and then this one says, be thankful. And this is the thank you one. Um, I absolutely love this because then I use these when I'm closing up the packages, when people buy stuff in auctions. I'm also going to be making, um, and I don't want you to get too excited like it's going to be a whole lot because um, I'm not that good at that. Uh, but I am going to be making little thank you cards um, so I can include in anyone who's made a donation in the last year um, a receipt for their donation that they can use in their taxes um, and then also a little thank you card. And so these will be fabulous to use on the thank you cards that I make. And I don't know if I'll cut the thank you cards on, on screen or not. I haven't decided that yet. She says A and N are missing, but that's not a problem because these will probably end up in kits, which is really, really cool. Look at that. I like this, and it's shiny, too, um, so you can do little little strips of something, and it won't stick. Like washi tape. Get a, like a little cheers. Like a washi tape can be stuck on here. This will remind me when I put it into the bin. It sticks and then it removes very easily on stuff that shiny. And so I'll just put that right here. Half and half. 
super cool. And if I don't split them up and leave them the same, then whoever receives them, just shuffle up the letters so the letters are all out of order. And make a pennant out of it. Cut like a little mark right here and put the bottom to be a little pennant like that. I've got pennant on the brain because I just made a couple. That's what it is. So I've got pennant on the brain. Oh, and this is cute. She made this into a project. She, she attached a little closure on this. Let's see this. Debbie, you're such a sweetheart. Look, she's got the fun stuff on the inside of it. And she's saying, don't open it, I'm sure. Hi, Care, not sure if I sent one of these to show you or not. This is made with wire and wood glue, painted with nail polish. Takes a lot of patience, but I love the result. Oh, and it's very messy. Oh, now I have to see it. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, look how amazing that is. That is very cool. And she did the little wire on the back like that. That is just beautifully done and a gorgeous sample. So if you have the tutorial on that, that would be great. Um, if you if you saw it on like a YouTube where they showed you how to do it, is it the one where it's the wire and then you wind the wire like a flower and you paint it um, with your oh whatever it's called with the nail polishy stuff? Is it like that? That is very very cool. No, you haven't sent one of these before, but that would be a great project set this aside for the project idea stash um, which I do have uh, boxes for things like that that way I can have a picture of it send the supplies and then a YouTube link um, and then that's that's how how I'll balance them out oh for the mixed media artists look she has aprons oh my gosh and this cow apron that's in yellow is magnificent look at that tell me that is not freaking awesome oh my gosh okay you have to know that when I teach a class I want to wear this one myself isn't this amazing it's got like a little moo cow I do call them moo cows yes yes no making fun of me oh well you can make fun of me if you want but it's got like a little pocket where the little moo cow is it goes all the way down there and it's got little chickies oh my gosh that's so freaking cute Just too cute. Now you're just making me want to paint just so I can wear a cute little apron. You're such a doll. And these other aprons, yes, yes, hardest. The yellow one is off limits. I'll use that for teaching classes here. These other aprons, if you see one that you would like to have in your wish list, that you would like to either use it as it is or completely modify and decorate the apron as a Christmas gift or gift to yourself. Um, or I shouldn't say Christmas, as a holiday gift or any holiday gift or gift to yourself. But this one made me think Christmas because it says greetings. But oh yeah, that definitely looks like one you can totally modify and have some fun with. Or use it just like it is. Is this she says green alcohol ink ah and she's wrapped it excellently look at this she's got the alcohol inks in here I am going to be making some alcohol sprays um, and I still haven't made them yet <laughs> that's on my list of things to do and so I bet you have a bunch that and now I know they can be safely shipped like this um, if you're a hardest and you have a wish list, um, this one doesn't say. Hold your britches. Let me see what it says. Oh, I just put one in there. I'm such a doofus. Oh, thank you for this. I can ship things in these. That's cool. Then she's got this. I bet this was inside or decorating something. Like there's another one like this too. 
couple magnets. I think they're magnets. Okay, another one. This oh, this is pretty. Look at the flowers on this baby. Isn't that pretty? This makes me immediately think of the 70s. And it says fast colors. And it says pure linen. How nice is that? That is very cool. We have this one has a little pulley thing on it. Oh, it comes off. It's a little red and white rag that comes off. How cute. And this, oh my gosh, this is so cute with the heart apron. Oh my gosh, and then pulls off like that. Oh, I said there were three reasons why I do the videos. Well, the third reason is maybe you're looking for a crafty idea. And uh, you see something that comes in a video when we talk about how we would make something or what we would make out of it or what project it would be. Well, then, you know, maybe this inspires you who are watching the video to go make something. I mean, you just never know. There's there's a lot of different reasons why I do this. Um, and then the, the fourth reason is it's for tax purposes. It's so... Um, I can go back, look at the videos, make a rough estimate of the donations in kind, and um, it doesn't have to be exact because technically the person who does the donation is the one who estimates the value of the items. Um, but the that's cute how it goes around the neck like that. Do you see that? Look at the color of this apron. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to do a series of decorating aprons. Don't you just want to cover the bottom in flowers? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love this little thing right here. Use some glue to adhere it down or iron it down. And then paint away in this cupcake. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So the mixed media artists, um, or anyone for that matter, if you see an apron that you would love to have mailed in your happy mail, or another reason, yes, I just bonked this with my head, is you may see something that you'd like to see in a future auction. Well, then just say, um, I'd like to see X, Y, or Z in a future auction because I haven't been able to find koalas anywhere, you know, something like that. Um, and you don't have to give me the reason you want to see it in the auction. You can just say you'd like to see it in the auction. And don't feel guilty because if you want to see it in the auction, then it helps raise funds to cover shipping. So I know that somebody said to me I'd never want to ask for something that's in one of the donation boxes to go into the auction um, because it may be taken away from a hardest. No, it's not taken away from a hardest. Whenever people donate funds, it covers shipping and it covers wish lists. So I may be able to buy someone, you know, let's say... You know, the auctions start doing really, really well. I may be able to make really big wish list items start to happen for some of them. Or um, now I've had a couple of people send me notes after we were talking about crocodiles um, that that's on their wish list. It helps me afford the things that most people uh, don't think about donating, like uh, glue sticks and Tombow glue and E6000 glue, which is expensive, by the way. Um, and so things like that when, oh, that reminds me, I have someone I need to send some Tombow glue to. I have to go do that. Um, I order on Amazon.com um, sometimes and we'll just ship directly to the hardest. So if you're a brand new hardest and you receive a box from Amazon, you're like, I didn't order this. It's because I sometimes will just take something off your wish list and ship it directly to you from Amazon. And so I forget where I was going with that whole story, but yeah. That's whatever I was talking about. Oh yeah, if you ever want something from the auction. Okay, so these are good things to ship things in, everything from beads and other things. I appreciate that. Oh, she's got needles. Check this out. This is a decent eye for a needle. And I just ordered 50, which is more than I needed, but it was my minimum order, 50 hand sewing kits. Um, not sewing kits, uh, you know the ones like you get in hotels, the little repair kits? 
but I personally use the little repair kits when I'm making little teeny, do I even have one nearby? Dagnabbit, I don't. When I'm making little teeny flowers, um, I will sit on the couch and use the repair kit. I'll thread the needle and I'll make my little teeny flowers. Um, from fabric scraps and so this will be great because usually they give you some that have the really tiny eyes and it's hard to use so this is much bigger and super easy to use I'll put those with the repair kits um, and you have a lot in here too look at that that is cool some of the bigger ones I might put in with um, the junk journal stuff and if you're a brand new artist um, and you would like to learn to make something like junk journals and you don't have uh, sewing needles and such for junk journals or you don't have the wax thread for junk journals, which I thought I just had some on my desk to show, um, stuff like that, then all, all is fair game. It's, oh my gosh, it's tiny vials. I want you to know she told me she was sending tiny vials and you want to know what I bought to go into them? frankincense and myrrh isn't that cool so i'm going to be making little wish vials filled with frankincense and myrrh for the holidays because it smells good for one um and that is flipping awesome and i have on my desk because she said she was sending that bigger ones too it's not cool this is the one that i painted the bottom with um glitter nail polish and gold leafing and so if some chunks are too big, these will hold the bigger chunks. These will hold the smaller chunks. I've never seen some so tiny, which is fabulous. And if you're a hardest and um, you love the beach and you may want to make like a little beachy one, um, I do have beautiful white sand beach here. I don't know if I'm supposed to go grab a little spoonful, but my goodness, like you don't get this and rinse it off your feet, something that small anyway. Not that I'm going to give you the ones on my feet, but you know what I mean, right? Oh my gosh, those are great. Great, and she's got a whole bunch of them in there. Can't wait to do that, little wish bottles. And then she has popsicle sticks, but they're foam. Now that is cool. Um, I have a group of people that it's eight folks uh, who are all at one location and uh, they all have brain injuries and I send them a package of things where they get to pick what supplies they wanna use. Um, and so, even the ch action of selecting the supplies helps them. And so I love the bright colors and the choices of things like this and putting them into the kits. And so I might put a couple of things with it or maybe some directions um, that are simple on how to put them, um, come up with foam popsicle stick ideas. I'll send that with some glue too. That's a great one. I've never seen something like that. Red alcohol ink. I won't open it because, you know, I'm going to put it with the green one. And then she has small flowers. Woohoo! Flower people, look. I do know that flowers are on the wish list of a couple of different people. Even though I've already sent flowers, it's okay to keep flowers on your wish lists. And look, she has a bunch of small flowers in here. How fun that is. And what's more fun is um, I have fairy plans um, for flowers, and I'm still trying to come up with some um, some ideas on how that's going to work. I have an image that I'm working off of for that, but oh, she's got blue alcohol ink in here, so now we've got red, green, and blue. That's so cute how you labeled these boxes like this. Look at that. She decorated them. Isn't that great? Look, you can immediately have, she has this in the box too. You can immediately have the cutest little top. This one you don't have to push down to open. It's just one of those pop tops like this, like that. And you could glue this down and you could have the cutest little thing. You can add to the decorations. You can keep it like it is and use it for storage. Isn't that cool? And then I can ship the hardest things inside this like she did to keep it safe. And so I have these with the little lids. I was just walking on the beach the other day. I do live in an area close to the beach. I've now mentioned that twice, so obviously I need to go to the beach thinking about it. Um, these would be good for the alcohol sprays. Look at that. Um, and this was on the beach. 
Now I'm hoping it was an accident, like they took it off of their spray thing and they couldn't find it and you know, no worries, I pick it up and throw it away. But you know, the, if you are a beach goer, please make sure, and yes, yes, I'm lecturing people, please make sure that you pick up after yourself because you know, we have turtles that are born on those beaches and turtles eat jellyfish and and you know, I don't want them to see a plastic bag and think that they're eating jellyfish. You know, I just don't want that to happen. Sweet little teardrop as we talk about sad things. Okay, I'm done lecturing. And then she has this too. Oh, it's so cute. I like these. I like these a lot. This will help with shipping. This one pushes down. What do we have inside? Oh my gosh, it's a whole jar of fun, blingy, yummy stuff. Look at this. Are you ready? Do I have something I can put it in? I do. Hold your britches. I've got something to put it into. I don't know if I can get it all back as well as she did, but look at how exciting that's going to be for someone to just get a whole bin of bling. Isn't that cool? What a cool idea. All right, well, she definitely likely did it better. Oh, is this gonna happen? Oh, I might get it all in there. Okay, dropping only two or three things. That says love. Thank you for taking the time to pull that together. That is cool. That is really cool. Someone is gonna absolutely love this. I'm getting every little bit there. Someone is absolutely going to love the bling. bling. Oh my gosh, it fell and it fell into this little bowl. See, it wanted to keep organized. And yes, everything that came out is going back in. Oops, wrong lid. This is this lid. Can I put you in here safely? Yep, look at that. You're now in there safely. Pretty little paper. Oh, look at this paper. It's like grass. Isn't that cool? And that's a lot of it, too. It says it's from the paper shop by Paper Studio. Boxwood. That's what it says. That's a very slow growing plant, isn't it? Boxwoods. I mean, they look good. They take forever to get to the right size, but once they do, you don't have to trim it as much as others. It says, do all the things. <laughs> That's a good planner thing. And look at this pretty little cardinal. It would help if I held you upright. Oh, that's sweet. That looks like a miniature post, uh, I mean, a large postage stamp or a miniature postcard. And she's got some popsicle sticks and these look like letters. Let me see. Oh, look at that. They are letters. Okay. Misspelled later. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We have two T's now. I don't know why I'm going through this and I feel like I'm playing Scrabble. Oh, here we go. I finally found a wool, a word I can make. It's the word wool. There we go. W-O-O-L. I don't know why I felt the need to make a Oh, we can pretend it says loom. The letters were looming over me. And now I see all kinds of words like full and null. Not that null is a word. N-O-A-L is not a word. Oh, there's an E in there, so you can make all kinds of things. There's a U in there. Oh, another E. All right, so have fun playing with those letters. And I will put the letters with the popsicle stick, I think. Because she has popsicle sticks with these ones, too. Now look at these amazing cards. So if I saw somebody with these, I'd be like, um, can you put that in the action? Oh, look at the lovebirds right up top. Aww. 
bush buck. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know what that was. Benton. Babarusa. A slug. Brown rat. Otter. Oh, oh, oh. I'm done because I hate snakes. Makes me immediately do the whole shrilly, shrilly, flinchy, flinchy thing. I'm almost done. I'll call the hubs back when I finish this. He loves me. He knows. Look at how beautiful this scarf is. Oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous scarf. Look at that. So this is very likely, let me see. It says silken polyester. It does feel like silk though. I would have guessed that. This is very likely going to be a wrap for when I mail something off and it protects something that's on the inside. So somebody's going to really enjoy this as part of um, when people buy stuff in auctions, the little freebies that come, unless a specific artist says, I would love to have that um, because it, you know, blah, blah. You don't have to give me a reason why you'd love to have it. Um, so if somebody wants that in as a hardest or in the auction, and look at this! This is freaking perfect! I have to find these. Um, it's already pre-done, and they can paint it however they want to paint it, um, and there's four of them in there. How cool that is. This is definitely going to the folks who are with the brain injuries. Um, um, so don't ask this as a hardest, because specifically their request on their wish list is... Um, paint by numbers, but I don't think you need to paint by numbers for some of the folks who can't um, in that group. So now they can just paint whatever colors they want on something like this. That is awesome. That is flipping awesome. Love it, love it, love it. So thank you for that. That was awesome. I just got excited. All right, and then we have Live Boldly in Metal, and She Inspires also in Metal. That is cool. We could save these for the, the Tim Holtz auction in November. And then a pretty little ribbon. I sat down one time and uh, cut apart some catalogs that had the best Christmas images. But with that, please join me in saying thank you to the fabulous Debbie Brigham, Deborah Brigham. And um, I am super grateful Super excited about the things we get to share with the hardests. Love and hugs, everyone. Take care.